Thomas Wright tells us he spent several years working on the construction of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. He had a lot of pride in his work, and now he's very sad that the bridge is gone. It was uh, pretty fantastic. While thousands of drivers relied on the Francis Scott Key Bridge to commute around the Baltimore area, for 79-year-old Thomas Wright, the bridge was an important part of his life. He helped build it. He shares these pictures from his career as an iron worker. This is Wright walking and working along a beam in the 1970s. That's me standing there. You can get an idea how big these pieces of iron are by me standing there next to it and all. For three years, he performed various jobs. Every day was a challenge. As the key bridge took shape high above the Patapsco River. As you're building, it's all straight pieces. But then when you step away from it and look back, it's a curve. You know, it's a gradual curve. There's a traveling guide derrick on top of there, and there's a crane over here on a barge. One of his jobs, using a bolt machine to fasten connecting pieces of iron together. When it first started, it went, and then when it got to the uh, tightening part, it would torque the bolt, boom, 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 and it would shake it, rattle your teeth. He admits at times he did get scared, the wind being a major factor. But then, when it was complete, he and his wife took the drive when the bridge opened in 1977. It's magnificent, you know. It's like you're seeing that, and it's like it's like a piece of art almost, you know. It's like, wow, man, look at this thing. I built that. Look, I, I, I helped build that. This is awesome. Wright, now retired, focuses on woodworking and creating stained glass art like this. He describes the loss he feels after the container ship Dolly crashed into a support beam causing the bridge to buckle and come crashing down in seconds. He also expresses his profound sorrow. Six construction workers doing road work on the bridge lost their lives. I was devastated. And Wright tells us before retiring, he also did iron work in other parts of the Baltimore region, including the second span of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, M&T Bank Stadium, and Camden Yards. Reporting from Sandy Point State Park, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.